So I actually just woke up. It's uh, 7.15 in Seattle, but today I actually have a flight to San Francisco. So the flight's at 9.30, so it's gonna be uh, a little bit different of a day in the life type video. just need to find and go to the BART station to get to actual San Francisco from the airport, so... So you may be... Oh. <laughs> so you may be asking yourself, why San Francisco? Well... My girlfriend has a conference at UC Berkeley, so I thought I'd come down. I like visiting San Francisco now and again, so uh, I thought it could be fun. She came down yesterday, I just got here today, and her conference goes until like 6 p.m. I think. So I'm gonna find stuff to do. And luckily, at Microsoft, it's pretty rare to work on the weekends unless you're on call. Unfortunately, my position doesn't require me to be on call. I'm just gonna do some personal work and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to find a cafe or a coffee shop or something, but you'll be with me. There's a lot of uh, interesting characters around here. There are literally so many hills in San Francisco, entirely too many. But look at this hill right here, literally like, you can't tell, but it's like 80 degrees. For some reason there's like a ton of people dressed in Santa costumes or with like Santa hats on, it's like everywhere. So I just finished eating at that bakery and they had a limit of one hour on their Wi-Fi, so I felt kind of bad just sitting there for for more than that, so I left, and now I'm gonna continue walking around, I guess. I think it's around 3 p.m., and uh, my girlfriend's conference finishes at six, so I still got like three hours, so maybe I'll find a bakery or another cafe or something like that, but yeah, we'll see. Also, honestly, it feels great to actually feel the sun, because in Seattle, I, I'm not even joking, I don't think I've seen the sun in like a month. It's pretty much overcast all day and rainy. And the sun rises at like 8 a.m. and then sets at like 4.15. So there's very little sunlight, so the brief sunlight I'm gonna get in San Francisco, even though it's still like 50 degrees, definitely really, really like. At that coffee shop, I did finish some you know, outstanding work, sending emails. Not really like work work, not Microsoft work, but you know, personal work that kind of builds up during the week. And that's kind of the nice thing about being remote. So I'm in San Francisco until uh, Monday. I don't have to work Monday. I, I took off so that I wouldn't have to stress about it, but I could. I'm going back to New Jersey to see some family on Wednesday and I am gonna be working remotely from there, which is, you know, really nice about working remote and uh, Microsoft is pretty accommodating about that, so. I'm trying to determine where I should go right now. So I could find another coffee shop, work on my uh, indie game a little bit. We have secured the pastry. So I just finished walking through Chinatown a little bit further and I'm headed to the metro station or in that direction because I'm not entirely sure when I want to actually get on the metro because from where I am right now it takes like an hour to get to UC Berkeley and my girlfriend's conference ends at 6 or 6 30 it's like 4 30 right now so hour travel time that'd get me there at like 5 30. sun sets at like 4 50 within like 20 minutes or something that doesn't lend itself to a lot of great footage so maybe i'm gonna go to a coffee shop or somewhere else maybe do some more personal work or work on the game a little bit more or just some other stuff to do but 
I've honestly really been liking walking around a different city, especially with the sun. It's honestly just been super nice, so. I'm at Berkeley's campus right now. My other camera died, so gotta use my phone, but meet up with my girlfriend pretty soon, and we'll probably go out to eat and then maybe call it a night. I'm uh, pretty tired. I don't really enjoy getting up at a sub 8 a.m. Sorry, my camera battery died after I got to the Berkeley campus, but hopefully you still enjoyed the video. And it's funny, when work from home first started, I didn't think I'd actually like it because I really liked physically going into places. At UCSD, when I had a remote semester or a quarter, I really didn't like the remoteness of the classes. I really enjoyed actually physically going to the classes, but work from home specifically has grown on me and having the ability to travel and still work just adds like a ton of flexibility. Fortunately, I didn't really have to work on the weekends, so it gave me a lot of time to just work on side projects or just more personal things. But I actually have a flight to New Jersey in about four-ish hours, and I will be working remotely from there for a couple days, but New Jersey is slightly less exciting than San Francisco. Francisco. But thank you all for watching. My name is Michael. We do Bob British accents at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos in my past self would thank you dearly. And check out one of my future videos in my future self would also thank you dearly. Check out nullref.co to see some minimalist programmer clothes that I designed. We make tech, computer science, college advice, career advice, game development type videos. If any of that sounds interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. Like this video to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. That's all for me. Hopefully I see you in another one. Bye-bye.